Would you rather have the second pick so you don't get pressured into picking Thibodeau as number one? Because you mentioned you'd take Aiden Hutchinson. I, I would. Right. And if you and you probably can't do this, but if I could trade the number one pick for number two and get a little bit something else, I would do it because I'd rather have Aiden Hutchinson than Thibodeau. Uh, whenever I look at Thibodeau, you know, his back is hurting, his knee is messed up, or he's got a broken finger. Uh, he he is injury prone. Is he sitting out? Is he sitting out? Huh? Is he sitting out? Is he playing through it? He stands out, but Aiden Hutchinson is standing out too. The only thing that scares me about Aiden Hutchinson is there's certain guys who cannot play in their hometown. There's too many distractions. I don't I don't know what his situation is, but maybe he's got that problem. Or maybe he doesn't. Um, when uh, Charles Rogers from Michigan State, <clears throat> that's di- when, that's different. That's that. Ch- yeah, that was different. I, I, I was told. Yeah, but isn't wait, wait? Isn't Hutchinson playing at home now? Yeah. No, no, no. He's yeah. not playing for a professional team. He's playing but, in a college team where you're a little bit insulated in college. And Charles Rogers played for his quote unquote. Listen, Terry, you, you, team. Yeah, I can't. I'm gonna sit here and laugh because I played at home. I figured it out. <laughs> it was but tough. Not everybody. Not everybody does. can. Yeah, but man, you, you know, don't think. It, I, and I see what you said, Charles. To your point. To your point, you're bringing up Charles. That's then you bring up Hutchinson. That's a totally different. You know uh, where they came. Yeah, that's, up a, from. That's, a, that's a totally different upbringing. So I, I won't compare those two. That's totally different. To you know, shout out to the late Charles Rogers, a good friend of mine, Chuck. Um, He's a great guy, but had a lot of distraction. Had a lot of people pulling at him. Now distractions um, is right. Yeah, and, right. you know, and he had, you know, he they had different upbringings, right? I don't think Aiden would have those type of issues that Chuck had with people, you know, pulling at him, asking for money, things of that nature. I don't think he'll have those type of problems. But like I said, I I don't know if I'll pass up on um, Tipper though. Like I don't know if I can do that. Um, you brought, you brought up a great point, though. Like, subtly, you asked Terry, is he playing through it or is he sitting out? Yeah. So, from a player's perspective, yeah. right, where you're you're sitting there, so you're saying to me, from a player's perspective, yeah. mentality, is him sitting out makes him more valuable. Is it? Because we know what his talent is, mm-hmm. and you're not as worried if you're picking first about his injuries. Yeah, I'm not, because I know he's tough. He's going to play through it. And he's still going to stand out and still play at a high level through those, uh, I won't even call them injuries, some injuries just sitting out, uh, to play through that pain, play through that hurt. Totally different. Uh, I like Hutchinson as well. Does but he you, stand we have out? Two does picks. Hutchinson stand out? Yes, he does stand out. Okay. But the thing, the thing is this, though. Does also um, a jobo. He stands out as well. <laughs> and so I sure. wouldn't mind taking either one of those guys in the first round. You know, and don't forget, we have two picks in the first round. We can, we got two picks in the first round. Right. All right. So understand, we can, we can get both those guys, and if a Jumbo's there, uh, in the in the in the the first pick of the second round, I'm snatching them up too. Mike, it'll be all defense. <laughs> my question to you then, Terry, to the opposite of um, a player not being able to play at home because of distractions. What about bringing? Isn't this what the Lions sort of need as bringing in a hometown kid with where they're at right now and they're building it? If he if he I, is a guy, I, not just to bring him in as a showpiece, but if he's a legit player like well, we're, first we're of talking all, about, can play. Yeah, that's one. Secondly, uh, the Lions had a reputation back in the day. For whatever reason, they would not draft Michigan players. Or they drafted very few, and you know it pissed some people off. But they let some. Pretty good players go, but my thing is Hutchinson is a hometown guy. I don't, I don't think he's going to have the distractions that we talked about. But I would still try to ask the question because you have to do your due diligence. Um, and from talking to my NFL people, and you know, I've talked to them about the Lions like forever. They said what the Lions should do is they have to have a team that makes things uncomfortable for Aaron Rodgers makes things uncomfortable for whoever's quarterback in the Chicago Bears, Kirk Cousins. You need to disrupt the other team's offense. That's to be their number one priority. If you get Hutchinson and Ojabu and they develop, bam, everything is disrupted on the other teams. Yeah. So um, you got that, you, 
you, can you imagine if we end up getting both these guys, right? Can you imagine how much better our defense will be? And now that's how you start to build the team because now you have an elite linebacker who people think can come in and be just as effective as a Michael Parson. And we'll talk about that later on, on how he's so dominant and how he's, he, how he's come into the, the, to the league as a rookie and to have that big of an impact on the defense. Like to have these two guys on the D-line, right, and then to have uh, Thibodeau in, uh, as a linebacker, you got to imagine how much easier like, they're going to make the game for him. He doesn't have to share through as many um, offensive um, linemen, right? They, you know, he don't have to worry about that. That defensive line is going to make those linebackers that much better. I like it. And if they're all there in the first three picks, that's who we need to snag. I don't care if, they, if two guys do come from the same school. These guys are playing at an elite level. And uh, going into that Ohio State game, who had the most sacks? Hutch a, did. No, I mean, Ajabo had the most sacks. Going, yeah, into, going, going, into, going into the Ohio State, State game, he nah, had more I'm sacks. Talking about, oh, at, a, I'm after the game, the, yeah, the after the game, game, he had more. He got three sacks. Ajabo had one, but even that last sack that he got was, you know, um, um, Straw was CJ Straw was running away from Ajabo from the sack and uh, ran him into um, uh, Hutchison. And so these guys are elite playing at elite level for a guy to just start playing football. His junior year, you say, you know, coaches tell me run through that gap. And I run through that gap. Right. These are, <laughs> you know, this is that, that's that Ziggy Asa appeal where he didn't play football until he got to college. You have a, a few guys like that that can make that transition from another sport to the football field and be successful and have success. Yeah, I kind of wonder if down the road Ojabo is going to be a better player than Hutchinson from the standpoint that he started so late that his learning curve is much steeper. More upside. Yeah, it's more upside. It's more upside to him. He's still learning the game <coughs> and, at a faster pace than Hutchinson. Yeah, and very and very athletic. You know, and very athletic, um, fast, agile, can change direction really good. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see what he does. All right, brother, let me ask you a question. Talk to me. If you – had, had the picks. And forget about all the scouts, what the scouts are saying and all this junk because it influences sometimes the way we think. Would you pick Ojabu over Hutchinson? You know what, though? It wouldn't go wrong. The thing is, you better be right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's right. But the thing is, like, who will argue that? Mm -hmm. Who's going to argue that? They might argue, oh, his stats are better, but they, they're, playing, they're both playing at a very elite level. They're on the same team. They work well together. And that's why I said that if they're there in the first three picks, I mean, when I say the first three picks, our first three picks, the, the first pick, and right now, can you, put the, can you put it back up there for us real quick? Uh, if we were to start the draft today. 123. 123. So if you look right now, the very first pick, the Lions, Thibodeau. You go to the 23rd pick, um, Hutchison. You go to the, the first pick of the second round, which will be us again. I'm taking, if he's there, um, I'm taking him. But I, I think you would be forced to take Hutchinson in front of Ojabo, even though you like Ojabo. I'm not taking it. Here's, not, here's why. You are going to have to be, take Ojabo. I mean, that's what I'm you saying. You got to take Hutchinson first because then if you take Hutchinson first, you can get both of them. If you yes. take Ojabo first, first, you can't get Hutchinson. Exactly. You can't. And so we'll be forced to take Hutchinson first. But I like Ojabo. Mm -hmm. I like him. So if he's there on the first on the first pick of the second round, I'm taking him. Our defense has just got that much better. That much better. Right? And people are looking like, we need a receiver. Mm -hmm. Why? You brought we don't up need a receiver in the first round right now.